My name is Philip Scott Alexander, and I am the PR Director for Project M at IPND Incorporated. My colleague Rima Ten, who is our Director of Training Data, and I will be presenting our final demo in the VA AI Tech Sprint 2020-2021 under the Middle Cohort subgroups. We'd like to thank the National Artificial Intelligence Institute and Dr. Raphael for hosting and leading this amazing three-month sprint. It is a great honor for us to complete and achieve amazing progress during this sprint. For our final demo, we will be presenting the significance of Project M to veterans' mental health care. We will explain how Project M will benefit veterans and the VA and point out answers for questions raised based on our previous Phase 2 demo regarding the back-end architectures of Project M. To finish our presentation, we will present a live demo of Project M from real-time video streaming and its analysis. Now I will address how Project M can be beneficial to the VA, veterans, and their family members. In the U.S., approximately 11 to 30 percent of servicemen and women have post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Furthermore, up to 30 percent of active duty and reserve military personnel deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan experience some form of a mental health condition. From 2005 to 2018, there was a 6.3 percent increase in the number of suicides in the veteran population and on average nearly 18 veterans take their own life every single day. Project M is a highly sophisticated and advanced emotional artificial intelligence platform. It can identify veterans and their family members emotional vulnerabilities early so that they can be treated before the very hard to treat complications such as depression develop. Saving veterans and their family members from emotional vulnerabilities is a real significant goal the Department of Veterans Affairs should accomplish. Being able to understand the veterans' emotional states and emotional vulnerabilities are essential steps to accomplish the VA need. We've partnered with Root. Root connects veterans to relevant resources for this AI tech sprint and provides us valuable live interview video files of veterans for Project M to evaluate their emotional states. Being able to accurately identify the veteran's emotional states, Project M will be able to help the VA achieve this goal. Our input data is collected from a wide variety of video sources, such as films, TV dramas, documentaries, reality shows, sporting events, and YouTube real-life scenes. This variety ensures that our emotional classification is not impacted by factors such as gender or ethnicity of individuals. This is because our data included enough amount of data that represents all genders and ethnicities. The training and testing input data are collected and labeled using different protocols. We start off by collecting the training data from different video sources. Our junior emotional intelligence data scientists then label the image based on what emotion they see. The image is then proofread by Project M and another senior data scientist. Then the final editor, who is the most advanced emotional intelligence scientist in the team, determines the final classification of the labels. Our state-of-the-art data collection and labeling system guarantees that the facial looks with the corresponding emotions. In this example, her facial looks indicate she is in shock, which is converted to fear in a disgusted manner. So the input data is duplicated and labeled. One is fear and the other is disgust. However, traditional validation protocols cause some problems because either fear or disgust is counted as wrong. Therefore, we have developed our own customized validation algorithm that can identify both fear and disgust are correct predictions. Furthermore, human experts will finalize the final validation of the trained models. We use the three best Project M models ensembled working together to generate the optimal results. As shown in the video, Project M ensemble models generated excellent results of ROC and AUC scores with an overall micro average score of 95% and an overall macro average score of 94% throughout all eight classes. The ROC graph explains performance of the models based on true positives and false positives. 
The area under the curve explains the overall performance of the models on each classification label. The three ensemble models are using different parameters with the different CNN structures so that they are learning differently to complement each other for the best performance. Now I am showing you how our models extract the features of the facial looks. As shown here, our model depicts entire facial parts, but one special feature is the eye. Since entire facial muscles are controlled by voluntary nerves, but pupils are controlled by involuntary nerves that humans cannot manipulate. Since the US FDA has not yet published clear guidelines for the machine learning based software as a medical device, we plan to follow the current FDA guidelines to lock the machine learning capabilities once we have achieved at least 90% accuracy. But we are open to annual updates of the model even though it requires us to re-register Project M as a software as a medical device to the FDA. Patient's privacy is very important, and we will make sure to implement a firewall to prevent unauthorized individuals from accessing the network and data, superb security systems to protect the data, additional web filters, and ensure the advanced encryption standard is applied to the, all the data that is standard for the U.S. government as well as email transmissions should be also encrypted with a secure HIPAA compliant message platform that encrypts all communications. As of April 5th, 2021, our emotional intelligence team and data scientist team were able to label 10,735 new additional training data sets during the sprint, bringing the total to 108,735 training data. Also, we were able to create 2,436 additional testing data during the sprint, bringing the total to 8,892 testing data sets. For accuracy, we were able to improve the ROC-AUC scores from 89% to 95% during the sprint. Also, Project M used to only be able to detect image files, but during the sprint, Project M is now analyzing real-time video feeds. Now I'm going to hand over the presentation to my colleague, Rima Ten. Thanks, Scott, for a wonderful presentation. Now, I'll show you three real-life video demonstrations using real veteran streaming of their facial looks for 30 seconds each. Our collaboration partner, REDT, specifically provided us with this video data files for this AI text print to demonstrate Project M's emotional recognition capabilities in real time. As shown in the video, each veteran is having different emotional states from time to time and Project M remarkably depicts each emotional state reliably. As you can see, the first video 8586 has a total length of 38 seconds with 933 total image frames. Project M analyzed 234 image frames, 4 frames per second for this video and based on the analysis, the primary emotion is 50% happy the secondary emotion is 42% positive content. Both our human experts evaluation and Project M prediction shows the veteran in the video 8586 has positive and stable emotional states. However, the second video 8587 has a total length of 42 seconds with 1013 total image frames. Project M analyzed 254 image frames in for this video, and based on the analysis, the primary emotion is 33 negative content, the secondary emotion is 31 negative disgust, and the tertiary emotion is 10% anger. Both our human experts evaluation and Project M prediction shows the veteran in the video 8587 has negative and unstable emotional states. The follow-up care and treatment is recommended. Our team is bright and energetic and consists of professionals and intern students who share the same vision created by the founder Min Li to eliminate chronic and mental illnesses and create a better world for tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed our final demo and we are open for your questions. Thank you.